It's been a glorious couple of mornings and usually what I do each morning, and we're using that term lightly, usually, um, is I get out of bed or where I'm at that time, at that time when I'm ready to get up. And usually when I'm ready to get up, that's because my mind just won't stop. I'm like, ah, oh, it's time to get up, okay. So I, you know, come to the kitchen and I'm not showing you my dirty dishes because I, I didn't do them last night. And um, normally, that's gonna bug me. <laughs> what the, <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. So usually I, I do them and I didn't feel like it last night. I just rested. Sunday is a day of rest, right? Um, then I make myself a cup of coffee, you know, slowly drink that. It's usually cold by the time I'm drinking it. Um, I have so many cups. I don't need any more. Because I just have, and I rotate them. You know, I try to rotate them and I just, I don't, I can't fit them in my cabinet. Um, but anyways, uh, we did church outdoors oh don't get me started about outdoors the mosquitoes kind of you know first it was the ants then it was the mosquitoes what's that about I don't know but anyway we did church outside it was lovely we did a uh, drive like a drive-in so we pulled our cars we spaced our cars most of us that can't sit in cars, got out of the cars and was just talking to people. You know, it's a distance, you know. Uh, um, I'm gonna be like that guy in Parks and Recreation that talks real, I'm not gonna do that because I woke up James the other day, but talks really loud and you know, long story short, but um, I think we're all gonna be like that because we have to talk through masks, you know, really loud and anyways we did that and it was so nice to see everybody that came you know and I know there's some people that are compromised or you know they can't make it and they would if they could you know and it was lovely we took a break from Job which we have been studying Job and it's really quite interesting um uh, you know very quite interesting job is um but we did second timothy 1 7 and i will say you know i i brought my you know you were supposed to bring our bibles i call it my bibble my bibble you know i brought the my bible and i'm looking you know and i Okay, First Timothy, you know, um, it's, you know, highlighted because I've read it before and it meant something to me. But it's it's interesting how the word it becomes living to me, meaning I learn more. You know, I'm not going to say it changes. You know, I, there are people that say that and that's okay, you know, whatever. That's what they, it means to them, but you learn a little bit more. The context of it, you learn. Um, you know, he was speaking to, oh, I can't remember. I have to listen to the sermon again, or we're not going to go there. But, you know, I've been trying to write more in my journal, you know, because it's hard for me to write. Uh, I tell people I can't write. I can't write like I did before, beautifully, fast. You know, I can write. It takes me a lot of time to form letters. I I was telling George, which is a lovely girl, we nicknamed her George. You know, she's gonna be in third grade and um, I asked her about like writing. How is your penmanship? And she's like, 
what's that? You know, she was so really cute. And so I was telling her, you know, she's like, yeah, my, my wives are backwards. And I'm like, that's okay. You know, you that's something you have to practice, you know. But for that age group, yeah. I tell a lot of people my penmanship can look like a seven-year-old did it. It is what it is. So I'm trying to write more in my journal. So what I wrote was, you know, um, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, 4, which also means because, I'm hoping I got it right because I'm going by memory, you know, God did not give us the spirit of timidity or tim I can't say that word, meaning fear. You know, we use fear. But a spirit of power, of love, and self-discipline, meaning self-control. Uh, it depends what words um, can be interchanged based on your version. So, I'm going to listen to the sermon again. It was a wonderful sermon, and it made me think, you know, in this verse, he does not give us fear. Fear is not from God that, you know, the scared, you know. I, I think, like, there's good fear and bad fear, I think we talked about. I got, like I said, I got to listen to the sermon again. But, like... The stove. I'm thinking of the stove. Like, if we tell somebody, don't touch that. It's, that's hot. We have a good fear that we don't want to get burnt. But then, then there's the fear of, you know, there's there's another kind of fear. I, I don't, I, there are so many things going through my mind. I can't really explain. But you know what I mean. So, that part not from God. But, but, what God does give me is he gives me power, meaning his strength. What? I mean, it's in the Bible. Do not fear, do not, do, you know, multiple times. But, you know, power, his strength. He gives me that. Um, and then... He gives me love. Not only his perfect love that he showers on me because he loves me. He created me. But he gives me the ability to love others the way he loves me. And I got to think about that. He gives me his ability to do that. And that's something I, I have to work on. Because I don't always love people the way he loves me. And we talked about self-discipline slash self-control. Um, I know like I looked up, because I, I, I like to research sometimes. There are some things. So, you can't see this. In my Bible, or Bibble, I have um, a concordance or some, you know, something like a dictionary slash concordance. And I will look up stuff. So I looked up. What did I look over? Oh, so, so I looked up because in my Bi Bible, Bible is um, self control. And it talks about having a restraint, exercise over one's own impulses, desires. Or actions I really like that I really like that and then it gives you like other verses besides this one that you can go to that talks about self-control you know Galatians 5 or 5 23 I like the Peters you know first Peter 1 13 and second Peter 1 6 you know I'm gonna look them up later but then you know Control, our self-control is not in my concordance, but control is, or, pun, you know, or I'm sorry, self-discipline, or 
No, self-discipline is not, but discipline is. So I'm, I was looking, you know, what that means. And, you know, if we think about self-discipline, you know, it's more of like, you know, to punish somebody. But I like to also think about it as instruction or guidance. You know, we have that instruction we have that guidance and there are so many so many verses in proverbs that pop up you know um and then job 517 i gotta look it up yeah 517 i had to think about that and then uh hebrews 12 5 it you know a lot of these verses talk about like hey you want this you know so i'm thinking hey i want that you know and if you think about it, that is part of the fruit of the Spirit, I think. Is it Galatians 5, 5.22? Um, I got to find Galatians. See, I have, t I was telling my friend Trina, I have another Bible that is a hardcover. And uh, I put tabs on it for um, the books of the Bible. And now... Like, I think back then it would have been okay. See, I have to sing. Um, I think it would have been okay before, but now it's it's really hard. To, it's really hard. So, great, yes. Yeah, oh, the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love joy which is natural that comes to us peace which comes to us you know from well all of these come from god so i'm not going to say that okay joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control that would be self-discipline you know all those things are the fruits of the spirit Meaning, when you walk closer, you're going to naturally get these from your walk, your faith. You know, it's going to come in like that. So, okay. So, I'm like, power. I, I don't know what's in there, but I have to look. You know, he gives me power, His like his strength. I can endure all things through him who strengthens me. I don't know where that is in the Bible, but that is in the Bible somewhere. But anyways, I really enjoy that. And so what I want to do now in my head is how can I apply that in my life? You know, that would be um, how I interact with people, of course. But, you know, like, it changes your mindset. You know, yes, I have MS. But look at all these tools I have. Okay. You, wow, you know, you know, I might be suffering from pain, but look at all these tools I have. You know, and then there's other kind of tools like medication, but um, there's other kinds of tools. You know, I can't write like I used to, but you know what? Slowly but surely, I can write. You know, it might look like chicken scratch or, you know, or a seven-year-old doing it. But I can do it. I can walk. I might look like I'm drunk, but I don't drink. And for those that do, hey, more power to you. I, I just can't, you know. Um, what else? There's so many things that I do differently now. Even driving my car. You know, there's times where, okay, yeah, I have to restrain my, I have to restrain myself. I have to rely on him to get me from A to B sometimes because I have to do that. That's faith. Um, and there's other times I just don't drive because I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't think. I don't want to say it's in the cards, but it's not in the cards. You know, and there's other times I think too, like, 
I have said, I have to look at people differently. I have to love them differently, you know, where I might have been frustrated with them. But I have to see them, and I ask to see them. You hear this a lot. Let me see the way, let me see so-and-so the way you see so-and-so, you know. Uh, let me love that person the way you love me, unconditionally, right? And I'm learning not to judge all that. Oh, don't get me started on that. I'm learning, and I think that's what we're supposed to do, is learn. So I loved learning what I did yesterday. So, rely on his power. Rely on his love. And rely on his self-discipline slash self-control. And then... Do something really good for yourself because of it, because of his love and show somebody his love.